A Monroe County 16-year-old is charged with murdering her brother and another person who could be her mom. Candace Walton is also accused of setting yesterday's fire that gutted her family home. Wanye Reese joins us live from Monroe County. Wanye, what's the latest on this investigation? Lori, we just found out this evening that Candace Walton, she has been charged with two counts of murder, arson and theft by taking. Right now, we know that she is in a Kentucky jail and she will be coming back to Central Georgia very soon. Investigators say 16 year old Candace Louise Walton set the fire that struck her own home Thursday and may have killed two people. The firefighters arrived. The, the residence was probably 60 to 75 percent engulfed in flames. They put out the fire, but soon found two bodies which were hard to identify due to severe burns. And they uh, called uh, the Monroe County Sheriff's Office as well as arson investigators. One of the victims is 21 year old Gerald Walton. A former teacher says Gerald was a special needs student. And he just generally loved everyone. He never would say a negative, negative word about anybody. Just always just a sweet, sweet soul. And it's just a tragedy that, you know, we lost him. The second victim hasn't been identified, but Freeman believes it's possibly Candace's mom, Tasha Vandiver. Correct. There's a high likelihood that's, that's who it is. Freeman won't comment on what they think happened or why, but he says Candace stole her mom's car and drove to Kentucky, where U.S. Marshals ended her trip. And when they took her into custody, uh, you know, there was evidence that came to light that the vehicle was stolen and she was taken into custody for possession of that stolen vehicle as well as possession of some other stolen things she had inside the car. Candace is also charged with arson and theft by taking. Freeman won't comment on whether anyone else was involved. This is still a fluid investigation and there, there could be other charges forthcoming. We just don't know at this time. Freeman says they are securing search warrants for Candace's cell phone. Meanwhile, Freeman is asking the community to remain strong. Ask that the public pray for the family. Freeman added that Candace will be back in Central Georgia by the end of next week. It is important to note that she is being charged as an adult, but she will be held in a youth regional detention center due to her age. Live in Monroe County, Wanye Reese, 13 WMAZ News. Thank you, Wanye. Anyone with information on the case can call the Monroe County Sheriff's Office at 478-994-7010. That number again is 478-994-7010.